most players will be 750 swiftness, 250 domination, or 249 domination, one point into crit. Those are the typical stat distributions. Now, there are exceptions to that. So it's, you know, it's fine you asked and everything. But most people will be 750 swiftness, 250 domination. Just because of kind of how the game goes. All right, here we go, match two. We have the Blade and the Artillerist on Team Blue now. They used to be Team Red, I believe. And now the Scrapper, or sorry, the War Dancer and the Summoner are on Team Red. So let's see. Summoner tossing out some pets. War Dancer jumps in but gets caught. Blade gets a pickup here with the Rising Whirlwind, just goes into the Hurricane Sonic, gets a little extra damage there, and then rolls out away from the Summoner. Trying to reset here. Her, her get up is down, so she she's going to be careful. The blade's going to be careful about going in here, because if she gets caught, it's going to hurt if she can't get up. And she... Okay, blue paladin, huge ult comes out, shields his team, and they're pushing red up against the spawn here. Oh, but, but team red return fires with the paladin ult. Both teams have massive shields. Blue's is going to fall off soon. Red's is still going to be on. Red's going to try to turn it on here and get some get some aggression. Okay, both, both paladin ults are gone. And both Paladin and Ults pretty much canceled each other out. It's a pretty even game. War Dancer got the got the tornado, picked up the enemy Paladin, then then slip and slides across the map all the way to the enemy Blade, but gets caught by the Artillerist and huge damage onto the War Dancer. Oh gosh, and got knocked down again. But some pretty big shields going out from her Paladin, so she survives. The enemy Blade, ooh, 32k identity, big damage on what looked like the enemy on the red summoner. Artillerist got the flamethrower. Will it be a combo off of it? Charges in, gets the stun. Blade follows up. But the war dancer, the red war dancer is still alive. Blade uses the CC immunity to not get launched by the tornado and gets a kill. Red war dancer first to fall. This blade and this artillerist really play well together, man. They're always next to each other. They're always following up on each other's hits and kills. And this blade surviving on one HP, not going down, just refusing to die here, finally does. You're going to see the artillerist and the paladin probably try to retreat towards blue spawn and wait for their blade ally to be up. And it's a close match. It's one to one, and there's four low HP players in this lobby. Looks like the higher HP players are trying to step up and help get initiations for their team, but the Wardancer already got chunked a little bit. The blue Blade now as well. Uh, well, she's fine. She's still around full. Let's see here. Blue Blade going in. Tries to get the Rising Whirlwind on the Red Pallet and misses. Just a narrow miss. And we got some action here in the center. The blue Artillerist in the identity mode. And the Wardancer Phoenix dives on top of it, freezing him and ults him. Good play, got some damage on the Artillerist and, and really tried to cancel out his identity there. Tries to charge in on the Artillerist there, but of course the Gatling gun is tier one and tier two CC immune, so he doesn't get launched and able to just walk away. The summoner pet's chasing him down, but they're pretty easy to avoid damage from. But the War Dancer flies in from off screen, goes into the tornado, but gets caught. And the Artiller is still alive, walks up to the summoner, but the but the ultimate pet gets called down on him, the Awakening, and he's got a doubt on him as well, and the ultimate pet was chasing. The Artillerist gets shielded by the Paladin, though. He feels a little more confident to try to get some damage. And it's four to two. Blue team up two kills here. Of course, they got their Artillerist, which is very low, but the Red Paladin's low as well, so I think Blue's in a pretty good spot for 45 seconds left on the clock. Both teams trying to feel each other out here and make sure they get a good engage. War Dancer goes in, but... And with the Red Summoner's pet able to knock down the Paladin and he runs off, the Artillerist is kind of caught out in midfield here, but the Blue Paladin drops the circle on him, which is mitigating damage, and he actually lives, even though he's got such few HP. And in the back, he puts himself in artillery mode, and now he's popping his beam. Looked like Red Team did get two kills, though. They got the Artillerist and the I think the Paladin from earlier, and now it's 4-4 all of a sudden with 15 seconds left. The Blade finally uses the ult. Gets huge damage on the enemy Paladin. Tries to use the identity, but no connection. Six seconds left. The Blade's trying to rush him down. Four seconds left. Gets the launch. Hurricane Sonic gets the kill. And that'll do it. Blue team takes the win. So I think this series is tied up one to one now. The War Dancer team had won the first game. I believe 
The blue team swapped their comp and won the second. So we're going to get a tiebreaker game three for these two teams. And then it'll be on to the next teams in the tournament. Hey, what's up, Lunavel? Good morning. What's up, man? We're watching a Korean esports tournament right now for Lost Ark, the game I've been playing. Mm. Yeah, the roster swap, uh, the comp swap really worked out for them there. And honestly, they were... They weren't really in danger that game. I feel like they were ahead. Like, pretty much start to finish. Not not by a large margin. I wouldn't say it was a dominant match, but, I mean, they seemed more comfortable on that. The Blade and the Artillerist played so well together. They, they followed up on each other so well. And, I mean, that Blade player played with a lot of confidence. Like, that chase down at the end, you know? It, the Blade was alone. It's really risky to go off on your own in this game because the burst damage in this game is so high. I mean, you can easily die in one combo if it's all three enemy players on you. So the fact that the Blade was that confident enough to, you know, cutting Blades across the arena and chase down that Paladin alone, I mean, that tells me that they, they feel good on that class. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. Will the Wardancer team switch up their switch up their comp? Or is this just going to be a, a mirror or a run back of the game we just saw? We'll see. Sure, they're thinking about it now. Yeah, you miss an artillerist did uh, pretty good. I don't know if we got to see the stats that game. I don't remember seeing the stats, but uh, the artillerist had some big nukes. Here's the stats here. So the artillerist was top damage in the lobby. Pretty nice, right there with the blade though. And uh, yeah, man, what else can you say? He didn't take much damage, and he he did a lot for the for the lobby. Enemy War Dancer really took a beating. Three deaths. The red, red War Dancer really took a beating there. I need to stop saying enemy. If I'm talking from the perspective of blue team, I always want to refer to the other team as the enemy, but I need to say red and blue since I don't have team names really in front of me. Uh, but yeah, red War Dancer had a tough game, died three times, not able to really get their damage going. Blue Paladin was able to out DPS Red Paladin a little bit, you know, 50k. I mean, it's substantial. Half a kill almost. So, pretty good. All in all, two very close matches though. First game closer than the second, if I recall. We'll see if they change anything up.